Blessings, people of God, blessings. I pray y'all are having a wonderful day today. It's a little bit rainy, but you know what? It's sun shining in my spirit. And I don't know why, but I just whew, got this overwhelming feeling. And I had to share it with y'all. Because we go through tests sometimes and trials and situations. But I don't know why. I just got to, I believe God. In my spirit today, I believe God. I don't care what it looks like. I believe God. I don't care what the doctor's report says. I believe God. I don't care what the children are acting like. I believe God. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it doesn't matter about the government shutdown. I believe God. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I believe God. It's just something on the inside of me. I just know he's going to show up. I believe him at his word. I believe God in this season people have doubted and we you know when you really walk on faith and people can't understand it they don't understand you know why she's so radical why she's so this why she's so that I just believe God I mean it, things in my life are kind of up and down right now but I believe God I mean I can't worry about it you know I know what God said and when I know what he said I believe it with all of my heart I mean all of my eggs are in one basket I just believe God when he said he's gonna take care of me I believe God when he said he's gonna watch over my babies I believe God I just I don't know y'all I don't know what the Lord is about to do I have been waiting patiently on whatever the next thing the Lord is about to do. But I just keep sitting right there. I keep staying real steady in that thing because I believe God. I believe that he is going to restore marriages that want to be restored. I believe that he's going to restore marriages that didn't even ask to be restored. I believe God when he says pray for that person and they shall be healed. I believe God for divine healing. I believe God that he is my healer. I take zero medications. If anybody out there knows my testimony and how I was paralyzed off and on with chronic pain and waist down paralyzed for three years. And I was on 10 different medications a day, including 40 milligrams of Oxycontin. And I told God, I don't want to take pills. I don't want to take medicine. I believe God that I'm going to grow old without pill bottles laying next to my bed. Come on in the room. I believe God. What are you believing God for in this season? We serve a good, good, good God. He's a good father. He is a good father, my Lord. We are children of the king. We king's kids. Matter of fact, we are the king's kids. Yes, God. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. I just believe God in this season. Join me in believing God for whatever hard situations you are going through. The Lord said, and I were in the word of God, he says, we have to endure hardness like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Come on in the room. We have to endure. So it might be uncomfortable. It might be hard. It's foolish to think that every single day of your life is going to be peaches and cream. No, you're going to have situations. How else is the Lord going to show himself strong and mighty? You got to get in some tight spots for him to be a way maker. Come on in the room. I just believe God that he's going to blow my mind. I believe God for those people that I'm praying for to be delivered, to be washed of the residue, to be transformed, to be saved, changed, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled. I just believe God. I I know he's still a mind regulator. It doesn't matter if they done called it ADHD, LMNOP, ABCD. I don't care about none of that. I believe God. When we start putting all our faith in the Lord, I was talking to somebody and they were talking about how they were sick and they needed to call the doctor and they needed to get an x-ray and they needed to go to this doctor and go to that. And I'm just like, man, I just want them to believe God for healing. He is Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee. But you know what? He said there were some places I couldn't do miracles because of their unbelief. Mm, my goodness. God is doing something amazing. I feel it.
I just believe God. I'm like, God, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right here on that thing. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know which way you're going to execute this plan. I'm not even going to try to put my hands on it. I'm going to keep doing what it is that I that you called me to do. I'm going to keep doing my daily activity. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep reading my word. I just believe God. I mean, I just, I don't even know, y'all. I don't know. I just know everything he's told me. I believe it. I believe that I'm going to see the things that I'm believing him for. I've got to see it because he did it in my life. And because he's done it in my life, I know that he's able to do it. Heal, train, heal, change, transform, deliver, set free. My God. Oh, glory. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. I just, I don't even, I can't even explain this feeling that I have. Whew. Thank you, Lord. I believe God. Believe God with me. Matter of fact, write down some things that you are believing God for to see come to pass in 2019. What do you want to see come to pass? What are you believing God for? What are the things that he has told you, but it ain't even looking like? People are starting to mock you. I thought you said God said so-and-so. He did. It ain't your timing. It ain't my timing. I believe God. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. My God. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Y'all be encouraged. I love you all and I will see you soon.